on today's toy spot we're gonna be having a look what do we got there it's so small we got the Fisher Price trio DC Super Friends Batman and Clayface building for four age for ages four and up apparently <laughs> spot can't read that also fire the cannon and they're very very um, concerned with you firing the cannon so much so that they've thrown an exclamation mark on there fire the cannon the Fisher Price trio with bricks sticks and panels this is a preschool preschool version of Lego essentially essentially um, on the back, build the adventure. Warning, do not aim at eyes or face. That's very crucial information. Uh, only use projectiles supplied with this toy. Do not fire at point blank range. What kind of, what kind of sick child is going <laughs> to knock some other child down and point this right in his face and <laughs> fire it off? Of course, now that I've said that, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Trio Batcave and all accessory sets sold separately and subject to availability. Add to your trio superhero or super friends world. See the entire line of trio building systems sets at www.triobuilding.com. Now I'm going to zoom in because some of these sets are really cool. If I was a preschooler, and I really don't even have to be because I got to say these are still pretty cool, we've got ourselves Batman with a little Batmobile. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got a little Batman. Looks like a gray and black outfit Batman with a Riddler. We've got Robin with a... Let's zoom in even further. With a Mad Scientist Joker. What? Up the top there, we've got Mr. Freeze with a very neat Freeze vehicle. We've got ourselves Joker. In some Mech Warrior something that looks neat too i like that we got the penguin on a little umbrella cannon of some sort and then we got batman up the top there in the bat wing let's not also forget the very impressive right there folks the right there the bat cave kind of looks more like a bat fortress it really if you ask me hmm but what we're going to do is I'm going to get this opened up and we're going to have ourselves a better look at not only Batman, but Clayface. More miniature adventures on the way, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's have a look at these little guys. Um, first of all, maybe let's look at the actual cannon. Um, the cannon is pretty neat. I mean, it's got uh, you can swivel the cannon all the way around. You can also rotate it. Woo! And then underneath is the connect point for the brick. It does also come with one brick set. Now, I originally thought it was two pieces, but it is only one brick set. You can take the brick, or the in this case the cannon, snap it into place, and you got yourself a bat cannon. And I want to say it's Batman because, well, it's black and it's blue. It kind of matches Batman. A bit of gray there as well. Also, if you didn't know it was Batman, he also does come with a cannon missile, which apparently is made in China. It's neat. It looks like the bat symbol. You know, you can take it, plug it into place, and you've got yourself a firing cannon. Turn it all the way around where the actual lever is. There's a little lever up at the top there when you fire it, and apparently it's got a hair trigger. It didn't take much effort at all to fire this. Let's see if we can put Clayface in the way there. Totally took him out. Totally took him out. Um, the cannon is nice. I mean, it, it's really loose. Like, it's... You can really spin it around. Um, on its own, I mean, it really doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Um, there really isn't even enough room for Batman to stand with it. You kind of have to... I wonder if you could kind of just sandwich it. Well, you kind of do that. You can kind of have Batman 
firing the cannon this way. As long as Batman realizes that he can't turn the cannon this way, or, yeah, concussion. Batman would get a concussion. Now, I wonder if there's actually ports on the Batmobile, because then you could probably put this on top of the Batmobile, and that would make things even cooler. Um, the idea that really Batman would have a missile launcher, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a little gray. It's a little gray for Batman. But uh, as, a, as a child, as a child's toy, uh, it is still pretty cool. Take the Batman off. We'll take the cannon and just put it aside there for a second. We'll pick up Clayface, who's fallen to the ground and he can't get up. Let's first have a look at, uh, let's first have a look at Batman here. We'll zoom in. Uh, apparently Batman is not bothered at all by the fact that he's dirtied his costume. He's got uh, mud, clay all over his body, all over his boots, all over his, his gloves, and certainly all over his face. But again, he seems just alright with it. He doesn't seem too bothered at it, by it at all. Now, the trios don't seem to have as much articulation as what you would expect with the Mega Bloks or the Legos. Um, there appears to be no articulation from the waist or anything. You can move the arms. Not well, but you can move the arms. They're very stiff. And what I thought, you could actually move the head. It doesn't appear like you can. It basically is stuck. It's... Yeah, you're not going to do anything with it. He does have a cloth cape, though, which is neat. It reminds me, really, of like the old Super Powers figures. It's nice. You don't see cloth capes very much anymore, though. Um, the Batman is neat. He's got extremely large feet, though. And as you can see, the grooves on the bottom uh, allow him... I'll just take the cannon off here. Will allow Batman to stand uh, on these grooves here. Like so. Or you could do it like that as well. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, there seems to be holes on the sides here, which I guess would lead, if you want to, very similar to connects, if you want to have the poles or anything like that, like as you saw in the bat plane, they had the little connector points, something like that. It's a very basic idea, uh, not as advanced as your Mega Bloks or your Legos, uh, but it's still, you know, for a kid, kids maybe about two years old, four years old, uh, 17 years old, something like that probably would still have a, a fun time playing with it. Um, the Batman is neat, though. He's awfully happy, though. The main reason I bought this set... Well, first of all, I like Batman, so that's a no-brainer. But I also really like the clay face. That's a neat-looking clay face. If you ask me, there's not nearly enough clay face figures out there. There really should be. Now, if you were, if you were a good customizer, you could probably... Not that I would recommend doing this, but you could probably even cut that piece off and add it to like a Justice League figure and then just add, beef out the, the extra and you could probably make yourself a pretty neat looking clay face action figure. I wouldn't certainly advise cutting, especially if this is like your younger brothers or younger sisters, I wouldn't maybe advise taking their toy and start hacking it up. But I like, for as basic as it is, it has no articulation to speak of except for the arms. That's, that's all he can do. Um, but I like the texturing. The texturing is really, really neat, and his face is perfect. It's just that it's just perfect. Uh, apparently, Clayface is also made in China. Now he's got a flat stand. I'm I'm looking at here, and I don't know if there's a way. Let's take this cannon off here. I don't think there's a way you can actually. Yeah, you can't really snap it in at all into the Lego. The actual blocks. I don't want to say Lego because they're not Lego, but the actual blocks. Um, I'm really surprised because, at least with Mega Blocks and other building block sets, they try to make every figure at least interactive in the fact that you can peg them in. The clay face doesn't. He just kind of just sits. Um, but it's neat. I mean, it's again, it's cute. Don't expect a lot. It's for you know preschoolers and whatnot, but. I had to pick this setup just because, again, I'm a sucker for Batman figures and Batman toys, and I just fired my missile. I <laughs> just... My cat's going to investigate. Um, but it's a neat set. I mean, if I, if I give a rating for, you know, such a, a small, you know, childlike toy, um, 
kind of fun to give to like a little kid. I'm going to give the trio set here of Batman, a dirty, very dirty Batman, and, uh, you know, Clayface. I'm going to give this set, you know, a, a nice five. Uh, it's a fun set. You know, the fact that you've got a cannon is neat, but it certainly lends itself to the fact you would want to buy more uh, pieces so you can get a much larger set. Um, I don't know if I would collect any more of these. Maybe if I saw a Batmobile, I might be inclined to pick it up, but... Uh, pretty neat set. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Fisher Price Trio Superheroes set, and we were looking today at uh, Batman and Clayface. I thank you guys for watching, as you always do. Stay tuned for more uh, Toy Spots, probably a little more adult Toy Spots than these little Fisher Price toys, but I'll see you guys next time.